Well, some people just can't wait to open their Christmas presents. And that apparently was the case with a short and very fast thief who went to a store in Murray, grabbed a present, and made a clean getaway, all on fours. Did we mention this took place on the pet aisle? <laughs> John Hollenhorst says the story of a very canine Christmas caper. At Smith's Food and Drug in Murray, a popular place these days is the manager's office, where they have the surveillance video. You had to see to believe it, but it happened, so <laughs> it's crazy. A suspicious character entered through the front door. Now, I've never seen him shopping before. Brand new customer, didn't even have his fresh value card. What happened next is already becoming legend. How likely is that for a dog to walk into a store, go down the pet aisle, get his bone, and walk out? Let's reconstruct the crime a step at a time. Entering at the checkout area, he approached a young girl. He just kind of snipped the customer up, and then he headed down the aisle. At that point, he had a decision to make. Left, no dog food. Right, dog food. He turned right and went straight to aisle 16. The dog food aisle. He, he, knew, he knew where he was headed. There are so many fun Christmas presents he could have picked. <laughs> I mean, look at this. This one even lights up. But he seemed to know exactly what he was after. He grabbed a rawhide bone like this and headed down the aisle, only to be confronted by the manager. I looked at him. I said, drop it. I decided I wanted to keep all my fingers, so I didn't, uh, I didn't try to take it from him. And he looked at me, and I looked at him, and he ran for the door, and away he went. <laughs> right out the front door. Look at that dog go. Expert Marshall Tanner says the culprit's sense of smell is a hundred thousand times better than the typical crook. Smelled the rawhide bone, grabbed it, and walked out of the store, thereby being a shoplifting dog. At last word, he was still at large, presumably enjoying his Christmas gift. He's enjoying the heck out of it. John Hollenhorst, Eyewitness News, Murray. I guess he can get a bone whenever he wants it, can't he? Apparently so. <laughs> the value of that bone, $2.79. And Merry Christmas wherever you are. Well, get...